All right, welcome to GameMaker Studio 2. In this tutorial, we're going to go over just the basics of the start screen and uh, some of the options that are new in GameMaker Studio 2, at least on the front end. Here we have the, the start screen, and the first thing you'll notice is it's got the tabs across here. We're going to open up some other tabs so that you'll see them populate above here. Here we have the toolbar. This toolbar will change depending on what tab that you have focused on here. We're at the start page right now, so this is the page that you're going to see when you first open up GameMaker Studio 2. Right here under the recent projects, we have none in here right now, but as soon as you start creating new games, you'll see the recent projects pull up here. These are projects by default from your My Documents folder under Game Maker Studio 2. We can change that and we'll look at how to do that in just a little while. Right over here we have the getting started. We can create a new game, we can open a game, we can import a game, and we can import games from older versions of Game Maker. We have the marketplace where we can go and get extensions, we can get tutorials, we can purchase games that people have made and Game Maker. So when we click on that, we end up getting a tab that pulls up here and you can see that uh, you can search for whatever it is that you're looking for. Uh, over here on the right, we can pull up extensions for Game Maker, uh, pre-made paths, all kinds of things in here. To switch back to our start page, we're going to come over here to this tab and just click on it. Under tutorials, there's no preloaded tutorials in Game Maker Studio 2, so you'll have to get some from the marketplace. If you scroll down here, you can find they have tutorials that you can download. The way we navigate back to where we were from this screen right here is this little arrow key. Click on the arrow key and we'll bring, bring us back to where we started. Under the demos, same thing, you'll have to go to the marketplace and download the demos that you want. If we come up here to File and Preferences, Game Maker has opened up a lot of things that we can change to make our experience with Game Maker a little more unique. So, for instance, when we click on General Settings, they have allowed us to change a lot of things about Game Maker. So one of the things that I did change on mine that you'll notice is that I have changed my paths. So if you click on paths here, I've created a folder called GM2 to save my Game Maker 2 files in. This is not necessary, but this is the reason why recent projects isn't showing up right now. This GM2 folder will be the folder that I use throughout the tutorials. By default, this is going to go to my documents and it's going to go to a folder that GameMaker Studio 2 creates on its own. So you do not have to change this. I just wanted to explain why mine will look a little bit different throughout all the tutorials that I do. One other thing I want to cover real quick with the tabs for this first tutorial. If you've never used Game Maker before, uh, or maybe even if you have, one important thing to remember is when you go up to Help, this Open Manual here, when you open the manual, this will give you a lot of good information about Game Maker, how it works. If you've got questions about specific things, you can drill down into all of the information that it gives you here and uh, it's just a very good thing to start off with if you're new or if you're struggling with something in your game. So we're going to go ahead and close all of these out and in our next tutorial we'll go over how to create a new game and um, build it. 